oh my gosh, it's a miracle. We have artificial intelligence in the year 2024. I don't know. I'm rolling my eyes. We finally have access to uh, Google Gemini if you have a workspace account, which probably hundreds of millions of people around the globe have. But I mean, is it too little, too late for Gemini uh, finally coming to the majority of our documents that we use day to day to grow our business? Is it too late or is this going to be good enough? Or can we finally use Gemini to grow our companies, grow our careers and to spend less time in spreadsheets and documents and everything like that? All right, let's find out and let's dive in. And we're going to be doing this live y'all unedited unscripted let's jump in and take a look before we get started and start pushing all those buttons let me tell you what this is this is everyday ai we're a daily live stream podcast free daily newsletter helping us all grow our companies with ai if that's you please subscribe to this channel but also go to your everydayai.com sign up for that free daily newsletter this is our ai in five we spend about five minutes uh teaching you Generative AI. This one might be a little longer. Let's go in and do this live. I've been super hard on Google, and I think rightfully so. Uh, their Gemini product, I think, has been it's been a bad rollout, right? So it's been out for like eight months. You never know what it's called. Is it 1.5? Is it 1.5 Pro, Flash, Ultra, Pro, Advanced? I don't know. But finally, we have access to Google Workspace because uh, this is something that Google's talked about for so long, but for the last six months, We've only had access to it on a free Gmail, so not the one connected to our business account. So, uh, you know, one of my businesses is Accelerant Agency. My other one is uh, Everyday AI. So I'm going to be hooking up my Accelerant Agency email to Google Workspace and see if we can connect all our files and work with them inside Gemini. It's going to be quick. It's going to be dirty. Let's jump in and connect, shall we? Let's see if this works. All right. So I just clicked the connect button. And all right. So apparently it works. All right, I'm going to go now and show you the reverse and show you how to access this. So essentially, what you're going to need to go is you're going to need to go to admin.google.com. So you need to be the admin to enable this. All right, and this is actually kind of all over the place. And if I'm being honest, I have no clue how to get here. I just search for it. So uh, search for Gemini, and then you're going to want to go to these couple different places. First, you're going to want to go to user access. And then you're going to say who gets access to it. So it is a monthly subscription on top of your Google Workspace account. So depending on the plan that you choose, uh, I think there's an advanced plan and an enterprise plan uh, between $20 to $30 a month. Uh, we're on the enterprise plan here. So you need to first allow uh, access. Then you need to go into this extensions area, which, y'all, I don't know why you have to have a freaking black belt to like a black belt in UI UX to find out how to enable these settings in, in Google. It's, it's kind of asinine. If I'm being honest, it's frustrating to be able to find all this and to enable it. I love Microsoft Copilot, chat GPT, perplexity, Claude, every, every other AI makes it so easy to find your way around, enable this, to know what plan you're on in Google. Good luck. You're going to spend like 30 hours and still be confused. But anyways, uh, I think I have everything enabled. So again, I would just go into your admin settings. You need to have your admin, your workspace admin set this up. If you're on a free Gmail plan, should be very straightforward. Uh, if you're on a paid uh, workspace plan, so you know whether you're a small business or you have 500 users, if you're using Google as your you know email service provider, you know so for the most part, people that either use Windows and you have Outlook and you have all those products or you have Google Docs and Google Workspace, right? Uh, used to be called G Suite. All right, enough of that. So you got to enable it first. Good luck finding it. I'll leave that link, uh, I guess, in the comments of this video. Uh, then what you need to do is you need to go into Gemini. Then you need to go to extensions like I just showed you. And that's kind of the page that I'm on now. I'm zoomed super far in. Uh, but essentially, you have to toggle the extensions on. All right, so I have no clue if this is going to work. Uh, again, I'm double checking. It looks like we have this information set up. Uh, I don't know how this is going to work. So I'm just going to try clicking uh, locate information. We're going to find this out live. Uh, so it's giving an example of what dates did Eric propose in the email about the Grand Canyon hiking trip. So I don't know. I'm going to do something fun. We'll see. Uh, I'm going to say uh, in my spam messages, uh, someone pitched me video services. What did they say? I get a couple 
hundred cold pitches every single month in my email. Maybe it's because I show my email address in these videos. I don't know. Uh, so let's just see if this works, right? Let's see if you can have a conversation uh, about your email. So it's going through my emails. Also, make sure to read all those privacy settings about what information you're sharing with Google. I personally never care. Uh, take take my information, whatever. Uh, so it says, I couldn't find any messages about video services in your Gmail. Fun. Okay. Uh, let's try this. Let's say, because I know I just emailed two people. So I'm going to say I have two guests this week um, lined up for the Everyday AI show. I emailed them both recently. Did they confirm, right? It's obviously, I think, much quicker in this case just to check my email, but I'm just seeing, is it actually going to, in a conversational way, be able to understand my emails, right? Can this Gemini, if if, if you are a Google Workspace uh, you, you know, power user, if your team uses it, can it be your, your point? So let's see. So this is wrong and wrong. Uh, so these are old email. Uh, these are old emails. So uh, yeah, I had Manny from Outreach on the show, but this was like two weeks ago. Uh, so again, Google got this wrong. Uh, you know, no surprise there. You know, I'm, I'm, Gemini is, is, uh, if I'm being honest, it is a little frustrating. Gemini is. So I'm just going to give you an example here, uh, and show you exactly. So, you know, Oh, Jordan's not making this up. He actually sent an email to someone yesterday. Uh, so let's just say, uh, give me a second here. I know I have this here. There we go. Okay. So, all right, here is that message. Okay. Well, I actually don't want to show too much on my screen. So give me a second here. All right. So I just, I, uh, you know, I didn't want everyone to be able to read all my email, but you know, here, here it is. You know, I just sent this email, uh, yesterday excited for this, having, uh, Rajama from, uh, Microsoft, a senior leader there. Um, so here it is. I asked yesterday, she confirmed in the email, super excited about this show. But when I asked Gemini, I said, I have two guests this week lined up for the Everyday AI show. I emailed them both recently. Did they confirm? And uh, Google obviously went in and found emails from like two or three weeks ago. Uh, so I'm going to try this. I'm going to try this again. I'm going to say uh, I have two. I emailed them yesterday. I'm going to say yesterday. So let's see if it did. If this does a better job. Who knows if it will. Again, Google Google Gemini. I've... I want to I want to like it because we've been on uh, Google Workspace for so long, but it is frustratingly bad at working with its own products. All right, so here we go. So at least when I give it more context, uh, so here it says uh, it says there is no confirmation email uh, from Rajama in your inbox. Uh, there is. I just showed it right here. So is it is it reliable? Is Google Gemini uh, reliable with working with your other files? I don't know. It doesn't appear so. That was very simple, very straightforward. Should be it should be pretty pretty basic, but it's not. All right, so let's go and jump in and look at a few other uh, features and functions of this new compatibility. All right, so not only does this new uh, Google Workspace Gemini update bring Gemini or sorry, bring your apps into Gemini, which we just saw doesn't do a great. Uh, that great of a job. Uh, we finally have Gemini now available in our other apps. So uh, let me just go ahead. Uh, we're going to go look at that same email again here. Give me one second. Uh, there we go. Here's this same email. All right, just got rid of all that other nonsense so we can focus here. So I swear there used to be an AI button literally right here, like an hour ago. It's gone apparently. Uh, anyways, now we have uh, this new Ask Gemini. All right. So it looks like when I click this, it's going to um, go ahead and summarize things, it looks like, and it's using it as a source. So let's just see if I can have that same conversation. Uh, so I'm trying to paste a prompt. Okay. So let's just, I'm going to ask that same thing. So I said, I have two guests lined up this week for the everyday AI show. I emailed them both yesterday. Did they confirm? So I'm asking the exact same prompt, uh, that I asked inside of Gemini. Now I'm asking it inside of my email. 
Let's see if we get a better response. So uh, this time I did just say yesterday. It's taking a pretty long time. Uh, you know, at this point, I probably could have already found that answer. Just jumping in my email and looking. This is in real time. It's nice and slow. Uh, so let's see if it can actually uh, actually give me the answer. Google Gemini. I don't want to hit uh, pause on this. Uh, I like to do these as live as possible. There we go. Uh, so it said, you emailed uh, Rajama yesterday about their appearance Thursday. It doesn't look like you received confirmation. But here we are. Definitely got confirmation. Who's She's joining us, you know, really early, her time. Uh, so again, and I don't know why it's giving me nine sources. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, so not a good job. Is this reliable right now? Doesn't look like it. I'm asking a very direct question with an email response that is literally on my screen. So am I going to trust this or use it or all of a sudden jump on the Gemini bandwagon? I think using a large language model is all about, can it work with your data? Can it work where you work? And if Google Gemini is kind of failing this pretty simple uh, test here, I'm not sure if I'm going to run to go use it just now. All right, we're going to try two more very quick things. I know this AI in five is taking a little longer, but I always want to be fair and, you know, give all of these programs their fair shot. So uh, here we go. Now I'm in my Google Drive and I do have uh, this Gemini feature right here in the upper right hand corner. So I'm just going to say, let's say you're looking for a file. So I'm going to say I have a spreadsheet with uh, YouTube stats. Can you find it? It should be right here. YT stats. Hopefully Google can find it. Let's see how it did. My gosh. I don't, I don't know. Uh, it says here are some relevant files. Everyday, everyday AI guess info. No. Something with Twitter. No. Something with different posts. No. I mean, it should be the one that says YT stats. YouTube stats. I don't know. Not that great. Not that great, Google. Did we test this out? All right. So now let's just jump into this actual uh, uh, spreadsheet here. So there's a lot of a lot of information. Uh, let's look. Oh, cool. All right. So it looks like Google Sheets has a little bit uh, different. Uh, there we go. Let's look. So there's 16,000 uh, pieces of data in here. So now I'm just going to click this uh, and I'm going to say... Uh, what is in this spreadsheet? All right. I gave it access. It couldn't find it. Let's see if it's inside, if it can actually uh, understand this, right? Uh, it does look like one huge feature here is you can type the at um, and then get different. Um, let's see. Okay. So it looks like I can just work with different docs here. So let's see. All right. So at least it was able to answer uh, some very basic questions about what this spreadsheet is. And now I'm just going to say, uh, let's just do something very simple. I'm going to say, uh, show me the 10 videos, uh, with the highest likes per view ratio. Very simple. I've done all these things in Claude and chat GPT, and it does it in like 10, not even 10 seconds and five seconds. So I'm just seeing if it can do some basic data analysis inside Google Sheets. Uh, so let's see. The answer to your question is AI news that matters for April 8th. Uh, no. I asked for 10. It gave me, oh, I said one. Sorry. I thought I said 10. Let's try it. Let's try one more. Uh, someone to say, give me the 10 videos. I was like, oh my gosh, did we not even get that one right? I just mistyped it. Uh, so let's see. I'm going to zoom out here so we can see this response. There we go. It like, hey, one thing Google does usually do a good job is interface. Love the uh, the, the the UI. Uh, and aside from the results, the UX of of Gemini is pretty nice. Uh, so let's see if it can actually get me the ten uh, videos with the highest likes. So if you'll see here, let's see total like. So here's the total number of likes and then the total number of views. So it should be able to do some simple math. Uh, so here it says again, it says it's just one of these things. So I asked for 10, it gave me one once again, not very impressed y'all like, it's like Google wants me to switch and does Google want everyone to switch to Microsoft copilot? 
I've been holding out. I've been holding out for Gemini to come to Workspace. It just came out. So I've literally been waiting like a year and a half for this. We've already had all of these built-in AI features in Microsoft, in Copilot, in their browser, Microsoft Edge. I just did a show on that today. I've been waiting. I've been waiting to get access to this. I've had access to this on my free Gmail account for like six months. Haven't been very impressed. I've been waiting to get it in my Workspace account. And you'll see with some very, very basic things, Google Gemini in Workspace is failing. It's like they want me to jump to Microsoft. We'll see. All right. I know this was a long one. If this was helpful, please go to youreverydayai.com, sign up for that free daily newsletter, and we'll see you back for another AI in 5 or AI in 16. Thanks, y'all.